What's up everybody? This video is not going to be up to the quality that I wanted it to be uh, before I released the video. Um, my daughter and my mom's houses both got wiped out by a tornado. They are both here with me. Everybody is safe. Um, they both have homeowner's insurance, so everything is going to be fine there. But I need to rush this video out so I can turn this office editing studio area into a makeshift bedroom for one of them. With that being said, I am not going to be working on YouTube videos for probably the next few months at the very minimum as we kind of get things pieced back together here. But all is well. Everything is good. Um, I just wanted to let you know that um, I'm apologizing for the quality of this video beforehand because there are probably going to be some spots in this video where um, I'm going to refer to something that is on the screen that may not be on the screen. So if it's a little confusing, that's why, but I think it gets the point across. Again, I really need to just finish this video, put a pin in it, and move on so I can take care of some things in my personal life. Uh, but again, everything's good, we're all good to go, and I'm just going to shut up, stop rambling, and start the video right now. No doubt about it, I have gone all in on the Insta360 Ace Pro. This has become my absolute favorite camera of convenience, and today I'm going to talk about some of the accessories that I use to make this an even more convenient and easy camera to use. Now some of these are going to be more premium accessories, and some of them are going to be uh, cheaper items, and I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of using each of those where possible. And uh, if possible, I'm going to give a few cheaper alternatives as opposed to the premium items. But first things first, I would say that if you do invest in the Insta360 Ace Pro, buy a handful of these quick releases because this is one of the things that I love about the Ace Pro so much is that when it comes to... Um, being able to attach it to your accessories, having one of these quick releases on here is an absolute must for saving time and making things more convenient. So these are plastic and a little bit cheaper and they've got the standard GoPro style mount on the bottom and this is a metal version that has a quarter 20 screw on the bottom which I would say of the two this one is definitely more convenient um, but this also has where you can flip these down to get the GoPro style mounting. If you're buying a bunch and you're going to have them permanently mounted to the GoPro style, you can save some money by buying this plastic one, but definitely, like I said, this is the more convenient one to have. Up next, this is a battery handle from Telesyn. Um, rather than buy a bunch of batteries for a bunch of different action cameras, I prefer to just buy this battery handle, and um, this is actually made for GoPro. It comes with a um, cover for your where your battery compartment is, but uh, this works just fine on the Insta360 Ace Pro. If you use it with a GoPro, it actually does waterproof that GoPro. I'm not too worried about waterproofing. If it rains, I'm going to go inside, but for people who uh, are concerned about that, this won't waterproof your um, Ace Pro, but it does, like I said, come with that battery compartment cover for GoPro. Um, this thing, I'm able to take this out and film with the Ace Pro all day and then some. I took it on a trip to Vegas and I never charged this. And I walked around with the Ace Pro for five days and this was enough to power the camera for all the shooting that I did out there for the entire time. And I probably spent, I mean, at least an hour solid, maybe two hours a day out there recording little tidbits of video here and there. Next accessory that I want to talk about, that this is just kind of a simple no-brainer for me, a wrist strap. I put a wrist strap on everything that I use, and this, I just um, put a quarter 20 screw into this and put this wrist strap on so that I can put hold this with the wrist strap, and I don't have to worry about dropping it if I'm recording over, say, something like the Grand Canyon. If I drop this, it's not going to uh, fall in and, and, and lose it. And... I'm not too worried about the Ace Pro being dropped from like, you know, waist height or whatever. I think it's going to survive that fall, but it's nice little extra insurance to protect all of your equipment. And for anything like selfie sticks and things like that, I love to put a wrist strap on everything, not only because the carrying convenience and not being able to drop it from your wrist, but also I carry everything when I'm on vacation in this crossbody bag here. And when I'm done recording, what I like to do is just throw 
this right in here like this. But as you can see, it's great to holster it so you can grab it and pull it back out. But what I like to do is just run this clip through the strap and clip it like this. That way, if it falls out, the bag is going to catch it. So it's just a little extra insurance that I like to have. And this crossbody bag is Waterfly. It's just a cheapie that I got on Amazon, and it does the job perfectly for what I want. Carries everything and does a great job. Next up from Telesen, I do have this neck mount, and I've got a quick release on here, as I stated before. And this is just a matter of clipping the Ace Pro onto there. You hang it upside down, but then it's got a release trigger here. It's not going to just go over my fat head. You do have to use the release trigger, but once you get it, it does take a little bit of fiddling around and finagling to get it to line up, but once you do, you just clip it in place, and now you can walk around or bicycle, and you've got a chest mount here. This is actually really easy and convenient, and I love this thing a lot. I looked into... Uh, handlebar mounts and things like that, or a big chest strap, chest mount that I could wear, but I found that I like this just a lot better because putting it on and taking it off is just a lot more convenient. And if you're doing bicycling out in the desert, like where I went, this is going to just be a lot more convenient as far as taking it on and putting it, taking it off and putting it on. And uh, what I also like about this is you're going to hear wrist strap a lot in this video. This thing actually does function as a wrist strap if you just want to carry it around. And it can also work as a little mini table tripod if you so need it to be. Uh, this is just a super convenient thing to have. And I really, there's some, you can bend this and fold it, but there's also some rigidity to it if you would need to turn it into a little makeshift tripod. Uh, for just a quick table tripod. I wouldn't use it long term like that, but it is handy to use if you would need it. So my favorite actual selfie stick to use is this selfie stick from Ulanzi, and it's got a built-in tripod right here on the bottom, and it's pretty heavy duty and well built. And what I like about it, it does have this ring for a wrist strap. So you can hold the selfie stick and extend it and the wrist strap doesn't interfere with the stick and I, I do like that. So uh, this one is from Ulanzi. It is a MI-72. This little doodad that I've got here is a backpack strap clip and this is a pretty cool thing to have if you're going to do any kind of like all day hiking and backpacking and things like that. Like I said, I normally use this cross body bag and I just holster everything but if you're going to do any backpacking and you want to quickly put the camera on and take it off. This is designed to go with this clip right here and it pretty much just clips right there and as you can see you can't just pull this back off. What you have to do is twist it and release and then it pops off. So super convenient for walking around. You just put it on and as far as putting it on and taking it off, it's actually very easy to use. So here it's clipped in. You just twist it and it pops off. And you just clip it back into place. And like I said, it doesn't come off there. You actually have to put some twist action in it for it to pop off. Very convenient. And if I were going to do any kind of like backpacking or hiking, I would absolutely take this along. It's just super convenient to have. So this thing sticking out of the side of my Ace Pro here is the microphone adapter, and this is useful for somebody like me who lives by a lake like this, especially in the winter time and the colder months. Today, everything is super windy, so an external microphone is a must. I can't show you the external microphone that I use because I'm actually using it on this camera right now, so I'll throw some B-roll over. It's a Sennheiser. I don't remember the exact number, but again, I'm going to throw the um, part number right here so you can see what mic I use. What I like about this mic is that it is super easy to block out wind noise. It's actually designed for being a shotgun mic that is designed to mitigate wind noise and keep it at a minimum. And today is really windy, so it's a must for this video. 
Okay, so it is very windy out here at the lake today, and you're listening to the built-in mic of the Insta360 Ace Pro. I'm in the shelter house now, but I'm going to step out there in the wind, and you're going to hear how windy this is. And then I'm going to plug in the uh, Sennheiser shotgun microphone so you can hear the difference. So we're going to go out there right now. Okay, it's extremely windy as it normally is this time of year out here at the lake. This is kind of an extreme situation, an extreme example, but this is the built-in microphone of the Insta360 Ace Pro. I doubt if you can hear me at all as it stands right now, but yeah, the wind is just kind of ripping through here, and uh, this, I would assume, is going to be unusable audio in any other situation. Now I'm going to plug in the Sennheiser shotgun mic and we're going to listen to what kind of difference it makes. Okay, now I've got the Sennheiser shotgun microphone plugged in and this is what it's going to sound like with the Insta360 Ace Pro as the wind is ripping across the lake. Mic check, one, two, three. Mic check, one, two, three. I do have the uh, dead cat on the uh, Sennheiser mic now too to help mitigate some of the wind. Um, supposedly this microphone is built to deal with wind even without the uh, dead cat but I'm gonna take the dead cat off now and we're gonna give it a listen to see what it sounds like okay so now I've got the dead cat off mic check one two three mic check one two three four this is what the Sennheiser microphone sounds like with the Insta360 Ace Pro and its microphone adapter. Again, we're out here on the lake. Wind is just tearing through here. This is an extreme situation. I would assume that for the most part this audio is going to be unusable even with the Sennheiser microphone. The protective case that I use is this uh, a Magison, and the reason that I like this case is because it's got a cold shoe mount for a microphone right here and um, it does leave everything exposed so that I can uh, get to the battery compartment over here. I can plug in the mic adapter here and I can uh, do the uh, quick release mounts on the bottom here and have them easily able to get to. So this case is nice. I do have another case ordered also from A. Magison that has a built-in uh, spot for these quick releases to go on the side. It hasn't arrived yet. I can't really say much about it. It's made of plastic instead of metal, and I don't know how well it's going to work out, but I'll put a link to it in the description if you would be interested in checking that one out. But this is great because, yeah, like I said, everything is easily accessible. You've got your power button here, record button here. You've got a cold shoe mount, exposed battery compartment, exposed SD card compartment, and exposed, uh, external mic jack so everything is easy to get to and if you want to take it out it's just a matter of popping this off or popping this open and sliding it out and it's easy enough to pull out and put back in uh, nothing to it what this protective case does not work with is this vertical side mount so if you want to uh, mount anything vertically on this you do have to take it out of the case to use this and that's why I bought a second case that's on its way that does have a mount for a side mount if you would uh, choose to use it that way. Now I don't film vertically there is another accessory coming up that mounts to the side is why I got this and is why I got the other case that's coming and I'll talk about that more on that later but this, if you want to do any kind of like vertical shooting, you will need to use this. Uh, and that gives you the ability to now mount uh, your quick releases from the side. So the reason that I got a vertical mount is not because I wanted to mount a selfie stick on here and film vertically, but I kind of finagled this together out of a camera top handle. Again, we can see that it's got a wrist strap on here and I'm just attached I've just attached that through a quarter 20 bolt here and I've got an Insta360 quick release here that I've run a quarter 20 bolt through here to attach that and what I can do with this now and what I like about this is that instead of a selfie stick I can pop this on here and 
that makes this handle more like an actual real camera instead of an action camera. And I like this because it's small and discreet and it holsters into my crossbody bag easily. It doesn't take up much space. I can just reach in there and grab it and I'm ready to go. And it does handle more like a camera instead of a action camera on a selfie stick. And for walking around, this is going to give you better looking shots than walking with this on the end of a selfie stick. The problem with a selfie stick is it tends to like give that like selfie stick sway. You'll see it in video that like kind of rolls back and forth as you step, whereas as this, you can hold it like a normal camera and you can go down low with it and you can look at your video from this, you, you know. It's just a lot more easy to use and it looks a lot more like you're using an actual video camera. Now, if you wanted to go a cheaper alternative than this, this right here is a just a camera side handle. These cost like three bucks. And with the quick release, you can put that on there. And um, again, I've got a wrist strap down here. If you really wanted to go overkill with it, you could put the bottom handle and the side handle on here, and then it would really handle like a video camera. For me, like I said, that's overkill, and this is generally enough for my uses and what I need to get out of it. I did have to take the normal top handle mount off of this and drill this out so that it would accept a quarter 20 screw to make this work, but I think it's a pretty convenient thing to use and it does have some extra quarter 20 mounts here though when you're using it your hand covers it up I don't know how useful though those would be but this has been very convenient for my use it's got a cold shoe mount up here and when I get my other protective case for this that has a side mount on here it should have another cold shoe mount on the top here and it should really make things a lot more convenient and easy to use and that's what I'm going for with this camera convenience and ease of use here I've got the old style motorcycle mount from Insta360. They've got a newer version of this out um, and this has worked out really well. If you need a super clamp to tighten this down, put it on a handlebar, this is going to work out perfectly for mounting this on a bicycle handlebar or motorcycle handlebar. I've put this on car handle, car door handles and things like that and you know you clamp this down and it is not going anywhere. It's got a quarter mount on, or it's got a quarter twenty uh, mail mount on top so that you can thread other things into this and I put the Insta360 um, invisible selfie stick on here um, right now I've just got this GoPro mount on here but this is actually really handy to have for uh, motorcycling and if you're going to be a moto vlogger and you want to mount it on your bike I highly recommend getting this this is also great for their 360 cameras so uh, something to consider if you're looking to do that. This can be fairly expensive depending on your budget. Alternatively for 10 bucks you can get this and this is a pole mount, handlebar mount. You can put this on whatever and clamp it down and it works out pretty well. The thing is keep in mind that vibrations over time will work this thing loose so you can't get the clamp strength that you can get from this but this is a lot cheaper. So it's just a matter of what you need. Also, the vibration will work this tightening lug down here. So um, keep it in mind that if you just need something quick, easy, convenient to use, you're gonna save a lot of money with this, but this is far better. Next up here, I've got this Insta360 multi-mount rig, and I like this thing a lot. This is basically, this basically functions like a selfie stick, but it's got a ball head here that you can loosen this up and turn this around and, and um, move it around as, as you need and get some really creative shots with it. Now, as far as it goes, as far as it goes, a selfie stick is going to do about 90% of what you need this to do. But if you do need to do any kind of like um, hang this on something and get like a top down shot, what makes this handy is this... Uh, this folding gooseneck that comes out here. So you can do a lot more creative stuff with this than you can a selfie stick. And this does have a built-in tripod at the bottom here. So that is something that can definitely come in handy. Also, it does have a spot for a wrist strap, which I'm always a fan of. And when you're done using it, it folds up and doesn't take up much space. Would I use this more than a selfie stick? 90% of the time I'm going to be 
just happy with this Ulanzi selfie stick here, but I can see the convenience of this, and if I were going to go out and didn't know what I was going to shoot, I would definitely take this with me over the selfie stick because of the folding gooseneck features. Alternatively, here is a cheaper option. This is from Teleson, and um, this is basically made out of a cheaper, low, lower quality plastic. It doesn't have the built-in tripod, but it does have a mount for a tripod, and it comes with this mini tripod that you can put into the bottom here. And one thing that I do like about this one is that it's it does have this compartment that is hollow, and you can put your extra goodies in here, and this should be waterproof, and it'll float as well. So um, this is definitely not as well built as this one, but it is a cheaper option, and if you're not going to use it a lot, this is an option that you could consider. And again, another spot for a wrist strap. When you need to walk around as just a handle, it folds up and you can carry it like this. But like I said, this one is definitely a lot better, but this one is more budget friendly. Last but not least, this is the Insta360 GPS remote, and as you can see, I haven't even opened this yet. This is in my future plans. Um, I'm going to be doing a full review on this product alone. I'm going to be buying an e-bike this summer, and I want to do a review on that e-bike, and I'm going to basically be using this when I do my review on that e-bike, but as it stands now, I could just turn this on and walk around, and it wouldn't be a very exciting video, so... Um, this will be something that I will use in the future. What you can do with this is this can overlay GPS information like incline and, and miles per hour and things like that on your video. So uh, that's something that I will definitely look into in the future. And like I said, I'm going to do a full video review on this product soon. I'm just not ready yet. So that's everything I have to talk about in this video today. Quick disclaimer, Teleson did send me these three products free of charge, but my opinion of this stuff has been 100% honest and my opinion uninfluenced by getting this stuff for free. Everything else in this video I bought with my own money, and I just want to give you as much information as I can for you to come to your own conclusion what stuff is going to work out for you or not. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.